New at five, an attorney for an Atlanta police officer accused of murder says the GBI's report of what happened doesn't match the former district attorney's account, and he's asking for bond conditions to be changed because of it. Joe Henke reports. And we have been working on this case around the clock. Five days after Atlanta police officer Garrett Rolfe shot and killed Rayshard Brooks while trying to arrest him for DUI, then Fulton DA Paul Howard held a press conference. At the time, the GBI had not yet completed its independent investigation. Howard said his staff had interviewed witnesses and examined video and physical evidence in the case. He then announced Rolfe would be charged with murder. Now, Rolfe's attorneys in this court filing say a copy of the GBI investigation they received contradicts some of Howard's key claims, claims they believe impacted Rolf's bond conditions. Uh, we received a preliminary uh, medical autopsy. Mr. Brooks was uh, slightly impaired. His demeanor during this incident uh, was almost jovial. 11 Alive last summer received a copy of the autopsy, but it did not include a toxicology report. Rolf's attorneys claim the GBI later found Brooks's blood alcohol level to be 0 .102, with cocaine and other drugs in his blood and also drugs in his car. But after Mr. Brooks was shot for some period of two minutes and 12 seconds, uh, there was no medical attention. Howard claimed Rolf violated APD policy by not applying timely aid to Brooks after he was shot. Rolf's attorneys now write no eyewitnesses interviewed by the GBI supports this claim. Eyewitnesses stated that Officer Rolf rendered medical aid to Brooks. During the two minutes and 12 seconds that Officer Rolf actually kicked Mr. Brooks, while he laid on the ground. Howard said Rolf was being charged with aggravated assault for the kick, but in the court filing, Rolf's attorneys claim on a review of the videos, the GBI concluded that it appeared Officer Rolf was stepping over Rayshard Brooks, not kicking him. Currently out of jail on bond, Rolf has to follow a 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew, cannot possess a firearm, may not have contact with APD officers, must wear an ankle monitor, and cannot leave Georgia. All conditions he is asking a judge to ease. And Garrett Rolf's attorneys and current Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis declined our interview request for this story. We also reached out to the attorneys for Rayshard Brooks family, but have not received a response so far from them. Meanwhile, that GBI investigation report currently, it is not a public record, so we have been unable to independently review it. All right, Joe, thank you.